what is up friends got another exciting fun gameplay video the cool thing about today is that i'm going to be doing it with luis367 who's been a friend that has joined our discord recently and has been a really cool guy a bit of a character and he brought along his friend broken butt hole so uh this should be should be fun i'm going to be trying shaft and wasp with three shot alt if any of you have watched our throwback thursday battles you've seen that i've used that a lot in those battles but i'm going to take it to um, matchmaking and see how it does. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better because the matchmaking competition, uh, you've got some better players and you've got a lot of chumps. So, um, it should be fun. We'll dive into some battles. Luis is going to be pro. We all know that, but, um, we'll get to see how Broken does and, uh, how this combo does. So, let's dive right in. Alright folks, let's dive into these two battles. As I just mentioned before, uh, we get to be in a battle with Luis, who is a new friend that actually... I found through these videos, really, really cool character, and uh, plays really well too. So it's kind of cool when you meet nice people who also are good players. Um, so this should be should be fun. I'm going to be trying Shaft Wasp, like I just mentioned, with the three shot alt. So uh, this definitely this alt definitely changes how Shaft is played. Um, as you can see, I'm playing it a lot more like I would Freeze, um, which is a turret that I'm pretty familiar with. Pretty meaning very familiar with. Um, and it plays a lot less like a sniping camping turret. So, um, if you want to get a good KD, camping and sniping is your is your bet. Um, but I personally really enjoy the three shot alt because it, it changes the gameplay and just I don't know makes it a lot more exciting. See, notice instead of it being a camping, I'm more of an ambush um, turret, just like freeze. That is exactly how I would play with freeze. Let the drugged up opponent pass by and then come down from behind and pursue him. So didn't notice that there were mines here, but um, he is taken out. We've got our fire hunter teammate not turning his turret. It's important to note. I love noting when players aren't turning their turrets. They just always look so silly. Uh, this is an interesting map because um, there's not a lot of open spaces, but it is decently large. So um, it allows for a lot of momentum. I've got my bomb. I'm just going to drop that here. I don't think that a viking is going to be able to respond to that. I have gotten bombed a, bo a bunch lately, um, just in different battles, and it's really difficult when, it, when, it, when a wasp drops a bomb and, bomb and you're not expecting it. I can't even talk. Um, it's difficult to difficult to play. Uh, just something quick to notice, Frenchie is in the battle. Frenchie is a member of our Amber of the Gods Discord um, and a good player. And she's, her accounts, she's got a pretty, pretty solid account. A lot of hours and uh, I'm not sure I can take on a Magnum head-on, uh, but so thankfully did have Freeze following. Freeze is a fun turret. I said sorry because I thought she was the Shaft Viking that I took out. I usually try to, to not shoot friends if I have a, an option. If there are two players, one who's a friend, one not, I will choose the non-friend. But she was not. She's in fact playing Vulcan Dictator. So it's one of the one of the combinations that she does pretty well with. So I'm able to take out the Juggernaut there, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't think I've killed the Juggernaut that many times. One of the reasons why I don't enjoy Juggernaut mode is uh, it's just you're fighting this beast of a tank, and I'm usually a wasp. So uh, there's Frenchie up uh, in front. I'm not going to be able to do a lot of damage right now. So. Gonna push forward. Actually, I might be retreating to my base. So this is the HTML version. I just want to comment on that. Um, not sure what the Juggernaut's doing there, taking my supplies. But um, HTML seems to run with better frame rate than the Flash version. So that's kind of cool to note. Um, this is an interesting. I managed to accidentally get a kill there. I mean, I was trying to deal damage. I was trying to get an assist. Um, I guess it's, it's uh, Luis got the kill on the Juggernaut. Nice. Um, let's sneak that in there. I don't remember what I was talking about, but Luis plays really well. Um, he uses Shaft Hornet a lot with light caps, which is, again, not a camping turret. If you see people, I'm choosing not to shoot her there. Just by FYI, I'm going to drop my mine bomb there and take out that guy. Uh, Shaft Hornet 
with light caps um, is going to tend to not be obviously he's right behind me tend to not be a camping uh, combination so um, shaft can work well playing defense just go Titan um, but I think it works best in these mid-range battles where you've got the fast high damage um, and the occasional ability to back out and play at range so the ability to play up close and play at range is what I really like about it um, Luis has chosen a bit different of a build um, the Hornets all uh, Horn overdrive Hornets overdrive just want to get an assist there I don't want to take her out there we go so now I'll get points if she dies or I'll just take the kill GG um, Hornets overdrive allows light caps to be essentially one shot kill for very quick when you activate the overdrive you can get a lot of quick quick kills um, so works better with wasp um, I need to take advantage of the bomb better and so therefore the three shot alt works works better in my humble opinion light caps works I think light caps is the best overall shaft uh, alteration um, just because you spend when you go into scope mode you are naked powerless so um, the light caps makes it so you're in that position less so the only the only all uh, the only time that you could argue that light caps is not um, better than stock or what in the world is uh, if you have a really good camping spot. But even then, um, not sure what was going on. I was trying to take him out there, but I like I like light caps even with um, even with Vikings. So. I'm not gonna be able to. Wow! How did I survive that? Nice job to that Asita. So Broken Butthole is the Juggernaut currently. He is a friend of Luis. So I'm just gonna die there. Um, he played really well the whole game. Uh, we played several games together during this during this time. Just want to let everyone know that I am noob. Just important. Sometimes I like doing that because it helps keep me keep me from taking the game too seriously. Because you know what? It's a tank game, and sometimes when you get wrecked, uh, it's it's easy to, to get frustrated, get annoyed, etc. So I am no, I am playing it uh, like I do freeze, which is interesting to see. Um, so that'll be the game. That'll be the game. That was a good game, two to one. Uh, shout out to uh, Luis and Frenchie, and twelve kills, three deaths. It's one of the best I've had with Shaft and Wasp. Luis, top score. Nice play there. Um, and then Broken Pulse, so the, the three of us were the top three. So let's go on to battle number two and see how that goes. All right, we're going to dive into the second battle. Um, I started out, and this box was dropping instantly. So I figured, you know what, I'm probably dead. So I might as well get some points off of it. Yep. Um, so Depixto and I each traded kills there. Uh, there are actually a number of times where we... We traded kills using our bombs, or uh, uh, my bomb and his burning ability. So that was kind of interesting to watch. There's a couple of shafts that are just kind of hanging out in the open. Again, one of the reasons why I don't like shaft as a camping tool is um, that very reason. You're not particularly helping your team sitting there, um, and you're an easy, easy prey. So. Pixto did a good job getting behind me. Um, I was quite quite impressed by that. It's hard to get into the enemy base and come from, get them from the backside, but I get some shots off. Unfortunately, I am using the three-shot alt, so I'm not going to do a lot of damage. So my teammate just left there. Uh, I'm not going to be able to stop him from returning the flag, but I'm going to chase after him now. See if I can at least return the flag now, and I should be able to. Yep. I'm gonna drop my bomb there, take out that heavy titan, heavy hull mammoth. Yes, indeed got him. So, Luis taking out the rail player. And let's see if I can grab the flag. The flag does seem to be taken, so the team is playing well. This guy doesn't have armor on, but he uh, I didn't have my double damage either, so... I believe a three-shot alt can one-shot a um, light hull, and when I say one-shot, I mean that in three, I missed an easy shot there. In three shots, I can take out a light hull, but uh, 
medium hull, so it doesn't work. So that is one of the disadvantages of the three-shot alt. I'm not going to win this fight. I want to wait for him to go past. That's exactly what I would do with freeze. Let the let the heavily drugged Vikings and hunters drive past so that I can take them on. Take on the uh, the heavy hulls and the light hulls behind. Let's see if I can grab the flag, and boom, it has appeared. Unfortunately, Depixto shows up right there. I do have a repair kit, but it didn't do a lot of damage, and I'm still hot. And I drive into things, and I die. Not sure what my teammates were doing. None was around, so... I have found that the light hulls don't work the best with grabbing flags always, because a lot of times you grab them and die, and then you find out your teammates are nowhere to be found. Um, and so then, uh, somebody else, somebody else will cap it at a later point. Um, trying to get some shots off on him there so that I can get score for an assist, but I'm just going to drop a bomb here again, maybe get a double. Yep, they're too busy killing me. Yep. So again, Depixto and I trade kills there. Should be an easy kill there. Yep. <clears throat> Again, this should be easy as well. Yes, and then I get wrecked by that Magnum. I despise Magnum. Don't think I'm going to win that fight. I got a couple shots off on him, but... Um, Broken Behold takes... Saves me from insta-death. Now I'm kind of playing the midfield skirmisher role, because uh, we are up three to nil, but um, I would love to have a bomb right there. That would have been great. Alas, I do not. Wow, Depixto, I'm seeing his name a lot on the, the screen. He got two people in the bomb. He's in first place with nine kills. That's impressive. I'm a fire wasp of his rank. try to take a shot there but there are points and times when I will go into scope mode with three shot alt but um, with light caps you get a lot of that just quick scoping you're not spending a lot of time in scope mode and once I go back to regular I realize how bad it is not sure what to do here I missed that shot but thankfully my teammate cleared it up broken the pole is a hammer Viking user. I'm struggling with driving. My FPS is still 27, which isn't terrible, but um, sometimes even if the frames are good, um, I, I struggle with, I don't know if it's lag or what, but I'll just drive into a wall, like right here. I was just really struggling to drive. <laughs> I'm going to try to get into a spot where I can drop my bomb. Actually, I'm going to take out this camper. Yep. And I didn't get taken out by the Magnum, so I'm going to push push onward, upward, backward, forward. So I am low on health, but I do have a repair kit, so... Take out that Magnum, and our Fire Wasp has the flag. Oh dear. Get Magnum uh, Mammoth from several inches away. Thank you, Physics, right? Luis is in first place, 257 points. I believe he's just playing defense, so he might just be up on the top of the top of the uh, the wall there. Again, a difference in play style between light caps and three shot. And I see that red shaft laser. And Pixto. One more shot, yes, boom, got him, I used my bracket. Wow, it did like nothing, and I died. Magnum, Magnum, Magnum. It's a fair and balanced turret. And that'll be the game. So, we go down, uh, we win 3-1, so shout out to Luis for the big game. Um, Broken Red Hole also was up there, but... Um, yeah, that'll be it for today. So thank you all very much for watching. Shout out to Luis and Broken. 
Um, hope you all enjoyed it.